Hey, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well today. In this video, I want to talk about how to make a conveyor belt in Roblox Studio. Now, if you're a returning viewer who's already watched this tutorial and just wants a refresher, here's the script. And here's the part that we put it in. If this is your first time watching, then welcome. Hopefully you find this useful. Now let's get started. So, to make a conveyor belt in Roblox, it's fairly simple. All you need is an anchored part and a script. Here we have a 8x1x40 part. This would be our conveyor belt. Next, we would want to put a script into the part. So we'll go over to the explorer, hit the plus sign, and hit script. Once you insert a script, you want to put in this code. Here it is. Feel free to pause the video or type it while I'm just explaining everything. I'll just go and be going by each line and explaining what each part does. So in the script, we first reference the part that is our conveyor belt on line 3. We do this by getting the script's current parent, which is the part that we put the script in. Next, we have the direction that the conveyor belt will move, which is based on the vector 3, aka our x, y, z. So in this case, the conveyor belt will move a part to positive x, which is our right, by 3 studs per second. Also note that putting a bigger number in the vector will make the conveyor belt move faster. As we can see, right now this part is moving 3 studs per second, and if we change this maybe to um, 10 and test it, we can see that it's moving a lot faster. So bigger number basically means faster conveyor belt. Finally, on line 6, we reference the part and then we call assemble linear velocity and then set it equal to direction. This basically is what makes the conveyor belt move objects. Now, as a fair warning, if you've watched any older tutorials that might have mentioned the use of velocity, which might still work, but is considered deprecated. If you're f not familiar with development, this basically means that the feature will not be supported in future updates and could lead to it being broken later down the road. Also, it's good practice not to use deprecated resources in games. Currently, you should stick to using a simple linear velocity. Okay, now, since we have everything set up, we can now go test and see if the conveyor belt will move apart. First, let's spawn apart. And again, make sure that the conveyor belt itself is anchored up here. Okay, now let's run and test. As you can see, the part is getting moved in the positive x direction. Now, here's a hot tip if you want to figure out what direction you need a conveyor belt to move apart. What you want to do is enable this thing. How you do that, you would go to view, and then you'll go down over to view selector. This will give you this little very helpful cube which will tell you kind of the orientation of where you're looking at and where the, the vectors are. So as you can see, there are these letters on there on the axis. As you see, there's the X, Y, and Z axis. Now, how do you know if it's positive or negative? Wherever the letter is, that's the positive direction. As you can see, X would be positive to the left, and to the right of X would be negative. Y is pointing up, which is positive, and down would be negative. If we go over to Z, our right now for Z is positive, and our left would be negative Z. You would look at this and figure out what direction you would need. Let's say if we move the part like that. Let's say now if we move the part to face straight in the Z direction, and we want this part to move in the positive Z direction, we would look at our little helpful tool here, the view selector, and we'll see that we need positive Z, which is the direction that we want the part to go in. We'd go into the conveyor belt, and under the direction variable in the vector 3, we would first change this to 0, and head over to the Z position of the vector 3, and change it to positive 3. And if we test, you can see now the part is moving in the positive Z direction. If we wanted to move in the negative Z direction, all we'd have to do is go back into the script and set this 3 to negative 3. And how, how do we know that? It's because of our little view selector. It says Z, positive Z is this way, so we want the opposite, so it would be that way. And then if we hit run, 
our little part now moves to the negative z direction. Now let's say you have a scenario where maybe the part is at a strange like 45 degree angle, kind of like this, and you want to go to the conveyor belt to move it like that. We'll look at our view selector and we'll see that it's going in the negative z direction, but not completely straight in the negative z direction. And we look, it's also sort of going in the negative x direction, but not fully going straight to the x direction. So what we can do is kind of combine the two, since it's kind of in the center of those two axes. What we do maybe is negative z, and then let's do a negative x. And if we run and test it, as you can see, our part now is moving in that direction. Sort of. You might have to mess around with the numbers a little bit. Maybe it seemed to look like it was going in the X too much. So if we may lower it down. There we go. It's moving sort of relatively straight onto the conveyor belt. And that's basically how you make a simple conveyor belt. But if you're not a fan of turning parts and editing the script, the Roblox Developer Hub provides a script for a more advanced conveyor belt, which I have. Here, this one, all you have to do is change the speed, and that's about it. It basically calculates the direction that it's facing, and you don't have to worry about it. As we can see here, if we run and test, it moves the part there. And if we were to maybe change it to that way, see that the part also moves that way. Now maybe what about if the conveyor belt's angled in a weird way? Well, not to worry, as this one basically knows how to correct itself. Look at that. Now, I'll quickly go over the script for the advanced conveyor belt, but if you're a complete beginner at scripting and just want the advanced conveyor belt, don't worry, I got you. All this will be a free model. The, the advanced conveyor belt, the normal conveyor belt, and this whole place will be uncopy locked. Alrighty, let's look at the advanced conveyor belt now. So, surprisingly, the script kind of looks like the other conveyor belt script, just with a little extra step. As you can see, same thing with line 3, we reference the conveyor belt, but on line 5 and 6, we reference something called attachment 0 and attachment 1. Now, let's look at the, the advanced conveyor belt itself. As you can see, we have the script inside it, and these two things called attachment. Uh, just ignore uh, what beam is. That's basically what makes the arrows, which is unnecessary, but it just looks nice, so I decided to do it. Anyways, back to attachments 0 and 1. As you can see, when I click on them, there are these little tiny green dots at the ends of the conveyor belt. Basically what that does is helps us figure out what direction the conveyor belt needs to move the part. If we go back, see we have the direction variable again, and inside the direction variable, instead of a vector 3, we have, well we still have a vector 3, this gives us a vector 3, but we're just getting the vector 3 in a different way. As you can see, we get attach attachment 1 position, and attachment 0 is a position, and we set it to a unit. Basically this is just a little bit of math, this complex math and stuff with vectors and stuff and that basically gives you the direction that the part is facing and then we have a new variable called speed will determine how fast the part will be moving and then we just multiply it together and set it to the sum linear velocity and that's basically how the advanced conveyor belt works so now no matter how you turn it maybe if we want to turn like in a weird angle like that and then put the part on the conveyor belt will still work as you can see like that and it's very smooth and centered and maybe if we want to like turn it down this way Maybe at a weird angle like that. As you can see, it still works. And that's basically it. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. Everything will be available in the description below from the conveyor belts uh, and including this place uh, will be uncopy locked and free for the taking. I highly encourage you take some and you mess around and change some variables around and have fun. Oh yeah, um, I kind of forgot to mention. There's a huge gauze cannon under the map uh, that uses a conveyor belt. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, have fun.